Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about tokenomics. When you research and analyze a crypto project, one of the most important aspects is the tokenomics. We are going to shoot this short video and talk about the basics of tokenomics. The first one is what is tokenomics? So tokenomics refers to the economics and incentives surrounding tokens. It includes several aspects and these are the key points. How the token works, supply and demand, valuation, token allocation, vesting period and unlocks, governance mechanisms, incentives and utility. We are going to focus on supply, valuation, token allocation, vesting period and unlocks. So let's start with supply. When someone creates a token, one of the most important aspects is the supply, is the number of tokens that can be minted. This is referred to as the maximum supply. One basic rule is that the lower the supply, the greater the value due to scarcity, assuming demand is constant. And you can find two types of tokens inflationary tokens where there's no fixed supply or increasing supply or there's no token removal from supply and in these cases there's always loss of value due to increasing supply this is known as inflation and you have also deflationary tokens where there's fixed supply decreasing supply or burning of tokens and by doing this this drives up scarcity so as an example, you see here a chart with the Bitcoin issuance. Bitcoin has a maximum supply of 21 million tokens. So we are now here at the moment, the circulating supply of Bitcoin is around 19 million. And you see that the issuance of Bitcoin will decrease over time. Okay, and around 2050, it will be very close to the maximum supply of 21 million tokens. So let's now talk about the market cap and the FTV. Okay, so FTV stands for fully diluted value. So these are two metrics that are also very important when you analyze crypto projects. The market cap equals the circulating supply times the current market price and the FDV, the fully diluted value or valuation, equals the maximum supply times the current market price. The FDV is usually used to evaluate a certain project but you must take into consideration that the FTV does not take into account the inflation that we have mentioned earlier. Let's now talk about token allocation. There are several categories. These are the main ones, so you can find more complex token allocation models. But usually, I would say that 90% of the projects include these categories. So the first one is investors, public sale, airdrops, ecosystem, team, advisors and treasury. Investors. Often tokens are sold strategically to partners, angel investors or VC funds prior to public offerings. Then you have public sale allocations and this refers to the token sales open to the general public, for example IDLs hosted on launchpads like Super Launcher. Then airdrops, some projects distribute tokens to early adopters of a project to reward them for using it before any tokens were launched. Then ecosystem, so a large percentage of tokens is usually reserved to grow the ecosystem. This could include for instance staking and liquidity provision rewards as well as in-game prizes and incentives. Then we have team allocations. Founders usually take a stake of tokens, similar to how traditional startups founders maintain a large percentage of equity. Often further, allocations are made for early or future hires as well. Then we have the advisor's allocation. A way to reward advisors for their time and expertise usually before a project becomes widely known. And finally, 
we have the treasury. This is a general pool of funds that can be used to generate returns for the project or benefit the project in some other way in the long term. So here you have an example. This is the token allocation of Vault Hill. Uh, so you can see here that you have uh, the following categories. So pre-seeds, private sales. So this is investors. There's a 25% allocation to early investors. Then you have public sale, 10% team 10% advisors 5% reward pool almost 39% and down here you can see reserves 6.4% and liquidity in listing 5% so reserves can be included in the treasury uh, allocation and liquidity in listing in the ecosystem allocation finally we are going to talk about vesting period and unlocks this is very important because when a token is listed on an exchange, not all tokens are in circulation. So you have a number of tokens that are locked and you have to analyze the vesting period mainly to see if there are large quantities of tokens that are unlocked at a certain moment that can be sold and have a huge negative impact, impact on price. Tokens allocated to the team and VCs come with a vesting period. These tokens are locked for a period of time during which they cannot sell them. This is very important because longer times usually mean higher commitment from the team. If the vesting period is very short, there's a high risk of the allocations being sold and besides having an impact on the price, they can also lose part of the needed motivation to keep the project going, to implement all the needed actions and reaching all the milestones. But on the other hand, you cannot have a very, very large vesting period because that isn't attractive to investors, to early investors. Okay, so vesting schedules should be balanced in order to be attractive to early investors, but also to avoid large unlock of tokens that can have a negative impact on the price. So let's go back to the example that uh, we gave you before. So here on this last column, you see the vesting schedule. So for instance, for the pre-seeds allocation, 5% of the tokens will be unlocked at the listing and then 15% will be unlocked on the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth unlocked quarterly and finally the last unlocked, the seventh unlocked will be of 20% of tokens. So here for the private sale you can see that there's a slightly higher unlocked at the listing. The same happens with the public sale, so you see here 15% and for the team and advisors we have the exact same vesting period so there's an unlock of 10% of the tokens 12 months after the TGE or the token generation event or the listing so usually you should see a cliff of one year before the team and advisors tokens being unlocked so guys that's it Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like, hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time we upload a new video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you, bye bye.